Hey, hey, happy day. I got words of wisdom for you from your wiser advisor. Here it is. The word politics, it comes from this. The word poly, that's the first part of politics. That means many. And the word ticks, that means blood-sucking parasites. <laughs> Did you get that? Ha, <laughs> just saying. Yeah, I was thinking about politics and I was thinking about Joe Biden and the vice president. He appointed her because he said, I want a black woman. I probably took 90 to 95 percent of the entire population, you know, off the table with regard to uh, being considered. I mean, it didn't matter if you were qualified, didn't matter if you knew what you were doing. It's kind of like maybe Trump, if he gets to be elected, he'll say, I'm going to appoint a vice president as long as he's an old white guy. Ah, I might apply. Hey, I tell you, it's just it's not fair with regards to what these left wing wackos do. It isn't. They're bullies and they do things for the wrong reasons. I mean, look at the people that Biden has hired. I mean, he has, he has transgenders and homosexual people because he says we must be inclusive. The party missed, though, was the qualifications. Who cares? Marry a bale of hay as long as you don't bring it home to my house. But have that bill of hay know what it's doing. You know, Trump, the uh, 14th Amendment ballot eligibility <laughs> challenger, you know, the guy that said, you're bad, and he's now been hit with a 33-count indictment for allegedly uh, doing bad tax returns, you know, he committing fraud. I thought that Trump was the fraudster here. Oh, it's you. It's biblical. It's kind of Shakespearean. Those who do others usually are themselves. That's what's said. Now, let's swing over to New York City. There's so many cities, these sanctuary cities. I mean, everything is good when all they have to do is complain about other cities and other governments and governors and people. But when it comes home to roost, it's a whole different thing, isn't it? I mean, now uh, there's about 160,000 people, illegal immigrants, who have descended upon New York City. A large majority of those have come by bus or plane that has been initiated from Texas. Texas has said, hey guys, all you do is complain and you don't really know what's going on here. We can't handle it anymore. We're gonna ship them up to you. And then you'll get a sense. And the governor and everyone in New York and the mayor in New York is saying, hang on here. This doesn't work out really well. They've now put over 2,000 illegals into one school and the students can't go to school. <laughs> really? I mean, you're bringing people in who break the law and you're putting them in a school, a place of learning. And here you have the controller of New York City. He's actually a Democrat. And he says this, you know, placing migrants at the Floyd Bennett Field highlights a mismanagement and a waste of money that is all too present in City Hall's approach. When you got them coming at you from the left there, left wing wackos, you know <laughs> that maybe, maybe you better smarten up a little bit. 160,000, more than who can count anyway in New York City? I don't think any of those Democrats can. They say 160, it's probably 300, 400,000. It's a crisis. And the mayor is saying this could destroy our city. But Texas says we're going to continue to do this. We're going to transport migrants to not only to New York, Chicago, and every other sanctuary place. You made a big deal years ago saying that sanctuary, anybody can come here and we're going to look after them. And what's your problem, Texas and Arizona and, and so on? Hey, got a big problem. Then the mayor of New York City says, I'm going to sue the bus companies for transporting illegal aliens from Texas to Manhattan. <laughs> you know what? If he didn't... Uh, I don't know. If he didn't have a double standard, he wouldn't have any standard at all. Who does that? I mean, now I'm mad at you guys because you sent him up. I get them. Rah, 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 rah. Privilege. Privilege is the unearned benefit to give people who are in a specific social group privilege. Privilege operates on personal and interpersonal, cultural and institutional levels, and it provides advantages and favors to members of dominant groups at the expense of members of other groups. <laughs> Hey, what does that say? There's a paragraph there. It's a good takeaway. For all the things that the liberals are doing to us, and pick a country. It's happening. I mean, will they run out of our money? Soon, I guess. Margaret Thatcher said that. Eventually, it'll all end. But at the moment, I wish we could somehow <laughs> slow them down because uh, what does it cost in New York City to look after you know a couple of hundred thousand people? Uh, wow. And the collateral damage with regards to the children who are at home and their schools have been taken over by illegal people, it's not a nice story. So make sure you all get out to vote in November and uh, do it right. Right? That would mean vote right. See ya.